Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. I hope you had an awesome holiday season. I am back today with a tutorial. This is based off of a couple of photos that I posted on my Instagram. This look focuses mainly on really big lashes and full lips. I'd say it's your typical bombshell look. And although you're hearing a voiceover right now, I actually decided to switch up my filming technique and do a talk through for once. So let's get into it. I've already primed my eye with Max Painterly and this was drying up like a mother. So I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and then I took a metal spatula and smashed the shit out of it and now it's like brand new. I also did the brows and foundation to save myself time and on my face I'm wearing CoverGirl's Ready Set Gorgeous in number 115. And now I'm going to move you nice and close so you can see what I'm doing. Oh my god, I feel like you can hear my deepest thoughts. This is so foreign to me. Today I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro To Go palette. It looks like this. Gorgeous everyday neutral shades on one side and then on the other side we've got two blushes and a matte bronzer. I believe this blush is matte as well and this one has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to start this look with the MAC 217 brush. If you don't have this particular brush, not to worry. Everybody and their mom is creating dupes. I know in my previous tutorials I rarely mentioned what brushes I was using and I've seen a lot of requests for me to mention them so I took that into account and with this new exciting style of filming I'll be mentioning my brushes. So many new things. I'm gonna start out by taking this cafe shade and placing it into my crease. Just blending it into my crease slightly upwards towards my brow leaving this space open. Nothing exciting happens when I film my videos. I'm usually bumping tunes and either rapping to myself in the mirror or rapping at the camera, but I normally edit that out because you guys ain't ready for these rapping skills. I spit hot fire. If anybody knows that reference, we are besties. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you know where that's from. Alrighty, step one is complete and now with a clean dupe of the 217, this is the Morphe brush version, I'm gonna take that shade and just blend it upwards towards my brow. I don't want any harsh lines, I just want it blown out. Little baby circular motions. This is the part where my battery died, so I ended up kind of talking to myself for a few minutes, but all I was saying was I dipped my brush into Chai, which is a very beautiful pigmented bronze shade, and I've just packed it on the lower half of my eyelid. I would normally do this with a synthetic brush because Lorac eyeshadows are super creamy and can sometimes have a little bit of fallout, but if you're super gentle with a fluffy brush, you can totally get away with packing the color on that way. I'm just doing gentle back and forth motions and just saturating the lid with that shade. My battery died, so I'm not sure if my last sentence got cut off, but what I was saying was, don't worry if you get fallout on the outside of your eye or it becomes a little bit of a mess here. If you guys have been watching my tutorials for a while, you'll know that I really like to clean up the eye area with a flesh-toned eyeshadow. And speaking of which, I'm about to do that right now. So with a flat brush like this, pretty sure this is BH Cosmetics, I'm going to take a bit of this shell shade and I'm going to apply it not only to my brow bone, but I'm going to clean up the outside of my eye with it. So I'm just patting my brow bone shade into place because I want it to really, really pop. And then I'm just dragging it in a straight line from the edge of my bottom lash upwards to the end of my brow and that cleans up any fallout and gives the eye look a really nice crisp shape. I'm just going to take whatever is left on my 217 with no additional product and I'm just going to blend a little bit of it into the shade that I applied on my brow bone. I just want it to look like a really natural gradient. And with this tiny little dome shaped brush that I got from the art store, I'm gonna take a bit of this shimmery pearl shade, tap the excess off on my hand, and just dab it right into my tear duct. And this is gonna open up the eye area and make it look really luminous. I'm also gonna apply the tiniest amount right underneath the arch of my brow. 
So because we're going to have really va va boom eyelashes, I'm not going to do any winged eyeliner or color on the lash line. I'm just going to go right in and apply my Coco Lashes in Goddess. These are unreal. I've talked about these, I think, in my last three videos. Before applying my false lashes with this particular look, I really like using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. So I'm gonna go do that off camera, otherwise it's gonna be like watching paint dry. Okay, so now I've got the eyelashes on and I would like to take a moment to just praise Coco Lashes for creating this lash style. Can we please just talk about these for like a fragment of time? The reason why I wanted to keep the eyeshadow really natural and minimal is because these eyelashes are such a statement piece on their own. I really wanted them to be the focal point along with the lips. So as you can see, they uh, they steal the show. If winged eyeliner is your thing and you really want to add it, girl, go for it. I personally just enjoy them on their own because they're so va va voom. The only thing I added to this eye, which I'm about to add to this eye, is a little bit of eyeliner running from the inner tear duct of my eye to where the eyelash begins. Just so this area doesn't look completely bare and it sort of ties in with the rest of the lash. And again, with my tiny art star brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of chai and I'm going to run it along my bottom lash line. And the reason I'm doing this is because, again, I find this really completes the look and it makes it actually look really dreamy, in my opinion. And that's the look we're going for. Dreamy bombshell. Another thing I think is really dreamy is a big white eyeball. So I'm gonna add a bit of white eyeliner in my waterline and this will not only make my eyeball look larger, but it'll give kind of that doe eye effect. If you don't want to use a white because you think it's too harsh, Rimmel makes a scandalized eyeliner in nude and I've used it in my videos before, but for some reason, I really don't mind white. Next, I'm going to run some of L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black on my bottom lash line and I'm going to be really generous with this. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing it at the base of my lash because I kind of want to give the bottom eyelashes that chunky effect. I find this look to be, again, very baby doll and very bombshell. Sticking to the Lorac Pro To Go palette, I'm gonna take this matte bronze shade and I'm just gonna warm up my face ever so lightly. I'm fair and olive toned and I find this bronzer to be absolute perfection on my skin tone. So if you have my skin tone or a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, I would highly recommend this bronzer. So I'm pretty sure that in my Instagram photo, I used this coral shade. So I'm gonna use it again today. And the brush that I'm using is by Sephora. It's just the perfect angled blush brush in my opinion. I like using this brush because I apply the product with the flat part of it and let's say I apply too much blush, what I do is I take this little tip and I just diffuse it. And if I want to diffuse it even further, you guys have seen me do this in a lot of my videos, I'll take my foundation brush with whatever's left on it and just sort of blend it out. This makes it look really nice and natural. I don't remember if I used highlight on Instagram, but I'm gonna use highlight today just because I'm in a highlighting mood. So I am using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and you only need a little tiny bit of this. If you don't own it, it's unreal. I would highly, highly recommend picking it up. And I'm just very lightly tapping it on my cheekbones. The Balm is almost always on sale on Outlook. That's where I purchase my products because I don't like to pay full price for basically anything, so I wait for it to go on sale. I'm also highlighting my nose a little bit. I would normally contour my nose a little bit as well, but today I'm just gonna be chilling on my couch, possibly crushing a pizza, so I don't really see the point in going the extra mile for that, but if you do wanna contour your nose, feel free. When I do contour my nose, I use the Makeup Forever Matte Bronzer, and I'm in the shade 10. Looks like this. I'm gonna move on to the lips, which only requires two products. I'm just going to sharpen my lip liner, and I believe in that photograph I was wearing Soar by MAC. I'm not 100% sure, but if I wasn't wearing Soar by MAC, I was wearing Tawny by Jordana Cosmetics. Either or will do. 
I do end up going over it with the Essence Stay Matte Lip Cream and this one is in Velvet Rose and this is the shade that you absolutely need in your life if you want to achieve that look. I'm just going to line my lips and stop talking so I don't look like a ventriloquist. And as far as I'm concerned, Kylie Jenner did not invent the overdrawn lips. If you look back at Pam Anderson in the 90s or the classic bombshell Bridget Bardot, they rocked that shit out, so ain't no shame in my game. Now I'm going to take the Essence Stay Matte Lip Cream in Velvet Rose and I'm just going to apply it to the center of my lip. And then to tie the two shades into one another, I'm just going to go over the lip liner and sort of feather it into the Essence lip cream. This next step is something I always do in my tutorials, whether or not I include it in the video. I take my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation with a tapered highlighting brush and I pack it underneath my eye. This brightens my under eye area and it also makes my nose appear slimmer, cleans up any fallout that I might have. So that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this new chatty way of filming tutorials. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and if I notice that there's a demand for them, I'll incorporate them into my filming style a little bit more often. It'll probably take some getting used to, but I guarantee it's going to make my editing life a fuck ton easier. Anyway, I'm going to go fix this uh, thing on my head that I like to call hair and film an outro and pretend I'm an Instagram model and take like 4,000 thumbnail options. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a second with my outro. So this is the completed look with my hair down and curled. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, all of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below along with all of my social media platforms. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.